What's up everybody? It's Roger and Victoria here from the Disc Kingdom podcast. In this episode we are going to be talking about fuel rods and they're coming to a number of different resorts over at the Walt Disney World. What this is, these are basically little areas you can get at the at, uh, little packs. They plug in your phones or devices in, they've got different adapters and stuff so you can charge them up. You can basically put, I think it's about $30 and then you get this little charger battery and you can charge it with devices. When it's empty, you put it back into these machines and then it will disperse you with a brand new one. Um, you can get them online a little bit cheaper. You can get them at the airports. They're top, popping up at lots of different areas because everyone's getting through their batteries so quickly. And, you know, people are, you know, streaming and just taking photographs. And, you know, your phones are becoming one of your main devices rather than carrying around a big camera. Um, so these are going to be coming two different. So there's new resorts. So you get Animal Kingdom Lodge, Port Orleans Resort, Riverside, uh, Broadwalk Resort, the... Um, I can never pronounce that one. The Contemporary Resort, the Polynesian Village, the French Quarter of Port Orleans, Port. Uh, it's also coming to Pop Century and Art of Animation. They've already been located in in other places around the parks, and I just generally, I've never used used them myself. However, I do have a battery pack that I take with me when I go tra traveling, or if I'm out on a you know, if I'm going out, if I've gone out for like maybe. A day where you know I've been to like a, a game conference or I've maybe gone off for do um press meeting quite often. Sometimes I take them with me so I can just take more pictures and so I'm not completely run out of battery. So this system does seem to work very well. Um, a lot of people have been saying how great it is, and also the fact that you get to keep this rod because you can take it home and charge it. So this is just it's just the idea that you got this portable battery that you can. I just think it's a great system and it seems to definitely be found a nice niche at Walt Disney World. I mean, I personally use them. They're honestly my lifeline, and they are about $10 more than what you would find at the airport, but I do like the idea of having them available to guests. They've had them recently at Disney Springs, I know, and bringing them to resorts, I think, is honestly a good idea, too, because you don't have to go just all the way to the park just to do it. Well, to me, it's almost that thing of, like, either you know, when you get back from your night or you're just heading out in the morning, you swap it over with one that you've already got, and then you head out to the parks and you've got it and you can plug it in. And obviously if you run down your battery and then you run down the charging dock, um, you can swap it when you're in the park. If you find one of the locations or if you come back to the resort, it just gives you options. And I think for the price of it, I mean, you're probably looking around about 20, 15, 20 bucks for a fuel pack anyway. But the fact that you can swap and change these out while you're there. And I think generally as more and more people are using their mobile phones as their main devices, in the parks, you know, obviously doing fast passes, taking photographs, taking video, streaming, you know, it makes a lot more sense than carrying around your big camera. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I, I mean, my camera is personally battery powered, so I have to carry little batteries anyway. But for my phone, which I do use most of the time, uh, I personally love it. I know many friends that use it, many adults that use it. it I mean, it, the convenience of it mm. is just really important nowadays. It is funny because... I've said on numerous occasions about the fact that, you know, next time I go to the park, I don't want to have, a, a, you know, we don't want to have be connected to anything. I don't want any distractions from, but obviously using social media and using your phones and devices at the parks is becoming more and more of a thing. And obviously the, you know, the youth have jumped <laughs> onto this a lot more with like, you know, you know, I see now, you know, so many people, you know, Instagram and Snapchat and what's you know just sh you know they share their entire holiday while they're away kind of thing you know when we went to florida the first time as kids we sent a postcard <laughs> you know and it arrived after you got back you know that whole so i remember a time when you know we went on vacation and you escaped everybody and you didn't you know you, you sh bored everyone to death with your bad photos when you got home because now everyone has access it's this this fuel rod system does allow people a lot more flexibility no absolutely it i mean i guess i'll call it my generation because it <laughs> it feels so weird saying that to the 24 but i mean yeah we are very very into our social media right now we want to share everything that we do every special moment good or bad so we really depend on our devices so yeah. it's, it's just a matter of convenience honestly yeah. it, it's Everybody wins. I must admit, I, do, I think I remember when you came over to Paris and you tweeted something about, will I be able to get Wi-Fi or something like that in the parks? And, you know, how, oh, yeah. and how <laughs> will I be able to kind of, 
you know, share my pictures while I'm there. And I'm like, and it's just like kind of thinking, just enjoy it, take pictures and share it when you get back to the hotel or share it when you get back home. Don't worry about it, you know. But the last few holidays I've been on, you know, I have been in the hotel where I have purchased the the Wi-Fi pack, you know, the add-on because I'm, you know, obviously doing stuff for the website, but also, you know, do want to be in connection. But at the same time, you know, there is, it, it, it's that thing of these fuel rods do allow you to use your devices a lot more because essentially if you do run for your batch, you've got a backup. And that doesn't necessarily mean you might have two backups. You could, you know, I mean, you're basically just charging in the whole time round. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, you know, the amount of times, you know, I'm at an airport and I'm plugging it in at every opportunity you get, you've always got your charger in your bag. The fuel rods just help you just get, get through that. And I love the fact that, you know, this is, this is being integrated into the parks a lot easier and just giving people an option. And I think paying for this and just, you know, if you do this, if even if you just do it once a day and just buy your device and swap it out every morning before when you go out so you have got your spare battery you know it you know even if it is definitely a, a good option just don't use your ipad in front of me while i'm trying to watch the cat the night oh show. yes please <laughs> just or, a tip for anyone don't ever do that yeah. or or the look is you're watching the fireworks and going ooh ah and there's a kid that's playing candy crush and you're going get off of it <laughs> But, like live in the moment and that's yeah. that is an issue though it's like a lot of people don't live in the moment nowadays like sometimes i do just leave my phone i mean my phone my camera like home just to enjoy the park so i mean it's good to have that for your phone you know if you have mm. kids running around in separate areas of the park to get in touch with them but just make sure you enjoy the moment yeah see my dad would just kind of go hooey and that was time you know at 12 o'clock you met outside the building and that was you know i mean we were discussing this the other day of like well and then because like for us not having data it's like well should we just get like walkie talkies or something like that and it's like because you know you might not have the data and all the rest of it and you know you don't it's not just being in contact with each other you don't want to be bugged then with everything else that's going on elsewhere but no i think these fuel rods are great i think it's a great thing if you're going to do however there's also the other side of things of that side effect, uh, as you said, if you haven't got them, maybe you don't use your camp, your phone as much, and therefore you might not use it as much, and therefore you actually might take it all in and talk to someone. So good news, but as an old man, um, this also is a bit like, well, you don't need it really. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got five of them. <laughs> no, I mean, it's definitely the thing. If having taking battery packs away with me, and and I have and I only use them when I, I don't use them on a day to day basis, but I do understand how useful this would be, and it's a great service, and I I do think it's a good a good price, and I know if um you know if I'm there for two weeks, I would be very very tempted to pick this up to have this, so I could just switch them out and swap them and stuff. So I think it's definitely a good option. Oh yeah, and what's nice about it is it is a fuel rod. Like, it's not just for Disney, like, I mean, how a yeah. Magic fan is. So, like, if you go to anywhere else that has it, you can switch out your battery there, too. So Well, it's like even, you know, you can go home and plug it in yourself, charge it up and take it with you. So you are, it's, you, you're you getting a, a, a battery pack anyway. So, you know, you still get, you can still take it home with you and do it. So, no, it's just a great system all around and definitely want to want to check that one out. So let us know what you guys think. Are you with me? Are you on the old folk side where... You just just let your phone <laughs> leave it leave it back in the safe and just enjoy your time there, or you know, just just stream the entire t your week's holiday. <laughs> You're gonna need a few of these. Uh, well, I'm kind of like on that borderline. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, but on that note, let us know what you guys think. You can also hit that subscribe button. You can also find us on all the different audio platforms. You can also find us over at thiskingdom.com. And on that note, guys, thank you very much for watching. Check, be sure to check out Victoria over on Twitter and Instagram. You can remind me of the, of your usernames. Uh, Twitter at he calls me PP and Instagram he calls me Pineapple Princess. And on that note, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. And I just, I just have just kind of just remembered. I have got a, my own little. <laughs> 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 oh no, guys, cheers, ladies.